Welcome to day number four of our five-part series on how to forgive and how to move forward in a relationship after someone has hurt you or someone has made a mistake and how to move forward whether it be in your professional relationship or in your personal lives. And so on day number one we spoke about honesty and honesty was about really looking deep inside yourself and asking yourself okay this mistake what the person did um, and how did that impact me because it really did impact me and then this day number two was about humility and that was about looking at yourself and saying okay did I have any part in this and maybe I did not have any part but have I made mistakes in my life too whether it be at my work whether it be in my organization whether it be in my family I have made mistakes I have hurt other people I have did things that wasn't right but people around me forgave me or at least I wanted them to forgive me and so that leads you to have mercy on people. And that was day number three last week. We talked about mercy and having that compassion for people because you know that you want to build a relationship. People are not pure evil. <laughs> people are not, are, not, are not just devil. People are people. They make mistakes and we have to allow them the opportunity to be able to have forgiveness. And so day number four is what I call generosity. Generosity is about really it all coming together and once you know an honest level what the mistake was and how they impacted you and maybe you, your team or impacted your family as a whole what this person did uh, as a member of your family and number two you had the humility then you got that mercy in day number three really now it's about being generous because as I said on, on our first video uh, as I, when I introduced this five steps to how to forgive others well, if you remember, and if you haven't watched those uh, videos so far, I, I, I you know, encourage you to go uh, to Oak Tree uh, website or on, on our Facebook and find those videos. And definitely subscribe uh, to our weekly emails. And you, will, you know, we talked about this in, in the last four, four videos where we said that, you know, this, your being able to being honest and being able to be have the humility, have to have that mercy, that leads you to be generous. Because forgiveness is not really about you, you know, forgiving someone because you think you're weak or forgiving someone because you, you, you realize, you know what, they were right. Those might be a case, but in this particular situation, what I'm telling you is that maybe they were absolutely 100% wrong. The mistake they did affected everybody in the team, affected everybody in the family. I agree with you. But it's about being generous. And that's why this, this video is called generosity. I mean, you would imagine, like, I'm talking about how to forgive others. Why do I even have this word generosity? Makes no sense. And most of the time, when you think about generosity, you're thinking donation, you're thinking charity work, you know, you're thinking feeding the homeless. Uh, that's what you're thinking in your mind. But I'm saying this is an emotional generosity. It requires for you to be generous, to be able to forgive someone. It's, it's a gift that you give to them. It's a gift of generosity. So you tell them, look, you don't deserve it. And you know, not that you say it, but I'm saying they don't deserve it. You were right. They made the mistake. And that's okay. You are generous. and You give them the gift of forgiveness. There's an interesting story that happened at the time of Umar uh, the companion of the Prophet, where uh, two men, they brought this young individual to the court of Umar. And they said that this young boy here, he killed our father. And so Umar, uh, he turned to the boy and said, what did you do? Turned to this young man, what did you do? Did you kill their father? He said, no, I, 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 you know, what happened was that their father and I, we, we are neighbors. And we shared a, a space and one of my animal, you know, happened to cross the fence and went to the other side. And the, his, their father got angry and threw, a, threw something at my animal. And my animal got hurt. And so I was upset, so I took the rock and I threw it back at him. And when I hit their father, by accident, he, he died. I, I, maybe he was weak, maybe he was elderly, and he passed away. So it was a mistake. Omar asks uh, these uh, two men, are you willing to forgive? Because, you know, the, the court of law in Medina, the city of the Prophet, was that, you know, the, the family is able to either ask for retribution or they can forgive, the criminal rather. And so, you know, the, the, the two men, they said, no, we, 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 this man should be punished for the crime he committed. And we don't care, it was a mistake. He, he, he killed our father. And so, Omar, you know, he, he, he had to 
rule and he said, okay, then you will get the capital punishment for, uh, for murder. And the boy said, the young man, he said, you know what, give me three days. Uh, you know, give me three days, I need to go back to my town, go back to my, my family. You know, uh, my father, before he passed away, he left some wealth for uh, my siblings. And so I wanted to, I'm the only person that knows where that wealth is. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the wealth, distribute to them and make sure my, my siblings are okay. Then I'll come back. Then you want to give me capital punishment? You know, uh, no problem. And Omar says, you know, Omar, Omar thinking to himself, mm, I, I heard this kind of stories before, you know. Um, uh, you know, because it, it sounds all fake. I mean, he's going to go, he has some wealth somewhere, no one knows where the wealth is. He's, he, apparently he's the only one who knows it. And his father left it before he died and it's going to be, you know, he's just trying to escape. He's just trying to leave the court. You know, and, and it's not like nowadays where you can have, uh, you know, some kind of uh, marshals, court marshals that, that will guide you to a place. It, 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 this is, you're at the court, you're at the court. I mean, if you go out and that's it, there's no cameras, there's no, you know, tracking with, with uh, satellites. <laughs> you, you know, and, 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 and so Omar says, okay, fine, I, I, I will buy your story, but I need someone that will, that will be on your behalf, that, that's going to testify on your behalf. Someone who will take your place if you don't show up. So I need a guarantor. You, you, you want to say that you want to go back for three days? Fine. You want to wait? You want to delay your capital punishment? No problem. We need a guarantor. And so it's a packed in a courthouse. And you know, this 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 boy, he's looking for a guarantor. And and and, and other people, you know, they hear the story, they think it's fake too, perhaps. And he's looking around, and no one is raising their hands. Will someone be my guarantor? Will someone be my guarantor? From the back, finally. A person raises his hand, I'll be this young boy's guarantor. And that was uh, Abu Dara Ghaffari, one of the other companions. He said, yes, I'll be the boy's guarantor. And so the boy leaves. Three days passes by. This is, this is the Maghrib time. So it's sunset time. So the day, you know, is calculated uh, at the end of sunset is, is a complete day. So these two men, they come to Abu Dara Ghaffari and said, Abu Dara, look, you, were, you, were, you, you said you're going to be a guarantor for this boy. He hasn't showed up. So now you take his place. You're going to have to take the capital punishment on his behalf because you said you're going to be his guarantor. So now, you know, two boys, they're coming with Abu Dhar Ghaffari to the court of Omar. And now this is a big buzz in the, in the city of the Prophet. And Medina is a big buzz. Will the life of Abu Dhar Ghaffari, an innocent man, be taken because of a mistake of a boy? And so they come at the court and it's almost time for uh, Maghrib and meaning the third three days complete. And from the far, they see this boy running, he's coming. And so the boy he comes back, he's running, and everyone is shocked. Omar is shocked. Omar al you know, he, he asks the boy, why did you come back? I didn't say any guards, I didn't send any spies behind you. Why did you bother even coming back here? He said, because I did not want that a Muslim, you know, someone who has faith in God, gave his word and he broke, he broke his promise. I, I made a promise I'm going to come back. And so I came back. And then, uh, then, uh, then Umar turned to Abu Dhar Ghaffari and said, w w Why would you even be a guarantor for this boy? You don't know him. And you, his story sounded fake. Why would you want to risk your life just to be a guarantor for him? He said, I did not want that a Muslim, that there's someone you know, uh, uh, who, who's, a, who's a slave of God needed you know, um, uh, help. And there was nobody there to help him. So I, I, I wanted to help. And after seeing this, the two boy, this, the, the two, two men rather, they said, you know what, we forgive the young boy. He said, how can it be that, you know, someone is going to keep their trust and then, you know, uh, someone is w willing to help their brother, risking their life. And here we are that we can find in our heart to forgive for, for what this boy did. And so he forgave that boy. And so being able to, in this uh, day number four about generosity, it's about not necessarily that the person did not make a mistake. It's about you being generous, allowing people to you know, gain forgiveness. Make it easy for them. Now, sometimes in our teams, somebody makes a mistake, we make it very hard for them to come back and, 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 and recover. We make sure that you remind, keep on reminding them, oh, you made that mistake. You know, allowing yourself to give the generosity. What, what it will require for you is to sit down and go through the steps. You have to actually sit down, write down, okay, you know, um, just, just, if there's a person in your life or person in your team or person in your organization that you want to give that generosity, the gift of forgiveness, you want to sit down and say, okay, how did that person hurt me? Just write it down actually. 
F follow step by step because all adding up to this day number four here today. Step one, right now, okay, this person did this and this how it affected me, affected the family, affected the team. Okay, number two, then do some self-reflection, -refle okay, how did I, you know, play part in this mistake uh, or, or how have I made mistakes in the past? And then write down, okay, what are some good things that this person has? Beyond the, their mistakes, beyond all the ills that they have, what are some good things? Everyone has some good things. And so you do that on step number three. And then, then you allow yourself to just make that decision. So forgive, giving that generosity is not necessarily going sending a message, hey, I forgave you. You don't have to do that. It's actually an internal decision where you just make it, or you decide, okay, from this moment, I'm letting it go. And you take a deep breath. And that's actually, that's actually a step. And that's it. You take a deep breath. And it actually helps you. You know, study shows people who hold on to grudges and hold on to, um, uh, you know, how people hurt them, they hold on to that. It actually affects you. <laughs> because think about it. I mean, you're constantly, you know, you don't go to certain gatherings because of that. You don't get involved in a project because this person, person is involved. You avoid the person in, in, in the workplace. You know, you, you, don't go, you don't go to a gathering because the person will be there. You're living your life where you have this constantly. You actually, you actually live shorter lives. People who are willing to forgive and they're able to move forward, they actually live longer life. They have better health, physical health. Can you believe that? Better physical health because they, they know how to let go and they know how to forgive. And so very important, you know, be, be, being able to just uh, forgive and let go. It will give you a more peace of mind. Think about it. I mean, all that list of blacklist that you have in your mind, all the people that you have blacklisted and you have a whole list of grudges and it, it actually shackles you. It actually shackles you. When, you know, if you think about it, it's like a locks that are on, on your own leg. Is, 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 is actually taking away from your freedom. So learn to just let go because it actually helps you. And even from a spiritual perspective, you know, there's a, there's a very um, inter inter interesting story about this, uh, about this um, elderly man. He was in the, in the marketplace and this thief, young thief, he came and you know, uh, took and robbed his bag and he had some money and what, whatnot and he ran, right? And this elderly man, he was screaming from behind, I forgive you, I forgive you, I forgive you. And, and it was pretty strange. I mean, this, this thief, he was just taken aback. He came back to the old man. He said, here you go. Is it back? I'm, I'm giving it back to you. That was very strange. I stole your product. I stole your wallet, whatever. I ran. And you started screaming, I forgive you, I forgive you. It made no sense to me. He said, because I heard the prophet of God say that, you know, in, 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 in the day of judgment, you know, that God's going to take account you know, so even if you, you made a mistake for somebody, God will, you know, take into account everything unless people, people forgive each other. And so I did not want that, that there will be more, you know, accountability. I, I just wanted to get it over with. So I'd rather forgive you and make it easy and make it faster for me to enter paradise, you know. And, and, and so that's the, that's the whole deal of mindset. Just, just, you know, allowing yourself to give that generosity and God will be generous to you. You know, and, and, and you know what, if you're someone that forgives people, you will notice, whether it be in your company, whether it be uh, in, in your family, if you're someone that willing to forgive. Now, forgive doesn't mean you're a pushover. You're not a pushover. You're going to let them know, look, I, I didn't like what you did. Or next time, please be careful. You're going to be honest about that. And that's why we, we had step one, two, three. And this is, that's why this is day number four, not day number one, right? And so... You know, you realize when you are someone that was willing to forgive, willing to allow people to make and make mistake, and then, you know, heal and move forward. You will notice that people around you are going to do the same to you. You know, because people people, people will see it. this person. You know, he he, he he allows for that. She allows for that. I'm going to give that same to you. So in this day number four, I want to leave you with this: give people the generosity of forgiveness. It's a gift of generosity.